Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel AKS49 Gamer. Today I'll give you a tutorial on how to mod GTA 5, Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, many of you guys have seen many YouTubers do some crazy stuff, crazy missions like how to steal Prime Minister's vehicle, how to assassinate Prime Minister and we think like how they do it. They do it because they mod the game and it's very easy. If you mod the game, you can do almost anything. So, and I advise you guys don't mod the game if you're playing GTA 5 online. You might get banned and it's better not to mod the game if you're online or if you're an online player. So let's start. It's very easy. You just have to download three files, copy paste and it's done. So let's start. And if you like the video, please subscribe, like, comment if you have any doubts. So let's start. At first you have to back up your game, that is GTA 5. If anything goes wrong, then you can easily back up your GTA 5 game, you can easily back up your progress, if anything goes wrong. Uh, there is a little chance, but you never know anything can happen. So, I have already backed up my folder, this is my backup folder, GTA 5, this is how it looks. So, I will show you how to back up GTA 5. This is pretty much, I have mod the game, so there are some extra files, this script hook. But, I will show you, it's pretty easy. What you do is that just copy this file till uninstall 000 don't don't you dare touch all this file this x64 from here don't touch any file don't mess around with these files these are very important files so what you do is that after extra x64 you'll get these files copy all these files till uninstall 000 copy once you copy paste it here this is how it looks. These are the files. Now, second, secondly, what you do is that this is the main thing. Open this update folder, then this one. Copy this. Copy this, update RPF, and then you make one folder update, then paste it here. Okay? Paste it here. This is how it works. This, this is how you back up GTA 5. Now, if anything goes wrong, what you do is that delete all these files, delete all these files till unins 000, delete all these files till unins 000, delete it. You simply delete it, then what you do is go to your GTA 5 backup folder and copy, copy, then again go to your main game folder, then paste it here. Okay, it's done, paste it here. Then again, what you do is that uh, open update folder in your GTA game main folder. Then delete this folder. Delete, delete this file. You have to delete this file. Delete this file, okay? Then again, go back to your backup folder, GTA 5 backup folder, open update, and then copy this, okay? And then go back to your GTA 5 main, paste it here. It's done. If anything goes wrong, this is how you back up GTA 5. So at first you have to open your browser and type GTA 5 mods, M-O-D-S, and then open the site. And then you have to search here, script hook 5, hook 5, this one. So if you search, you will get this. Script hook 5 plus native trainer. You have to download this file. Also, you'll get the link of this in my description. You can check it from there. So, you have to download this file. So, you have to download this file. You have to download the latest version. I have already downloaded it, so I won't download it again. So, this is the one file you have to download. And then again, you have to download another file that is community script hook 5. Script hook 5.net. You have to download this. And this also you'll get it from my link from, from my description. Uh, you have to download this file. Okay, this one. You have to download the latest version. This, I have already downloaded it. And then you have to download the trainer. 
this one menu pc you will get this link from my description also you have to download this also this is the trainer without this you cannot mod the game you have to simply download it uh, you have to download the latest version i have already downloaded downloaded it so i won't download it again so it's done once you download the files once you download the files here i have already downloaded it i have made a folder named called mods so these three other files i have extracted it so you will get these three files so at first if what you have to do is that open the file location of your game gta 5 uh, like this open file location so this is what it is so minimize it and then open the mods folder and then script hook 5 open this folder then you have to copy paste you have to open bean bean folder of script hook 5 then copy paste this one script hook 5 dll and the input at dll you copy paste it you copy and then paste it in your gta 5 folder file location paste it i have already pasted it so you paste it only these two files the input 8 dll and script hook 5 dot dll okay once you have done it let's go to this one script hook 5 dot net script hook 5 dot net you open it and you down and you copy paste these six files leave these two license and readme you don't need these two just copy this script hook 5 dot asi dot ini dot dll dot xml again dot dll dot xml you have to copy this one copy go to your file location your gta5 location then paste it i have already done it so i won't do it again so it's done then again you have to install the trainer install the trainer for this you have to do you have to copy paste same same technique for all the three folders all the three files so you copy this again you paste it on your gta5 folder so it's done you have successfully mod gta5 it's very easy once you download the three files from gta5 mods and then you extract it open it then copy and paste it in your game folder it's very easy it's not complex so you have successfully mod the game so let's start the game so we have successfully mod the game to bring the menu to bring the trainer to start the trainer you have to press twice at the beginning then after that you can press once so this is the menu this is your trainer this is how it looks you can control it through your cursor keys up down if you want to do something if you start a task then press enter to go back press backspace this this is how it works if you want to close the menu press f8 to start it again press f8 now suppose i have to spawn a vehicle i'll press enter i'm doing with my cursor keys so vehicle spooner yeah what do you want let me bring one uh, let me do something different uh, let me do something with planes yeah I can see in the middle of the road or bottom plane. So this is how it looks. F8 press. So guys, if you like the video, please subscribe my channel, AKS 49 Gamer. And if you have any doubts, please comment. And don't forget to like the video. Thank you. I will bring you more videos like bodyguard modes. There are many mods, but to use it, you have to first mod the game. There are missions also haste missions. You can steal Prime Minister's car. You can do any anything once you mod the game. So more videos are coming soon, dropping soon. So enjoy the game. Yeah. Thank you.